Our topic for today is calculus. So in calculus, you will start with a very basic one, which is the derivatives using the power rule. So if the question is asking you to do to find y prime, to find f dash x or f apostrophe x, or they're asking you to find dy over dx, they all mean the same thing, which is the derivative. Or if they ask you differentiate or derive, find the derivative, they all mean the same thing. And this is the steps that I'm going to teach you. But, but this one is only for the power rule. There are more complicated uh, derivative, but we will start with the power rule. So when you say power rule, by the name itself, we are going to derive this using their power. So for example here, we want to derive this. So find the derivative of this, which is this. This is just a symbol for a derivative. There's an, uh, there's an apostrophe in there. Equals to. So when you're deriving, the power will just come forward. It will multiply to the number that is al already on the front side or the coefficient. So 4 times 1, that will just be 4. X. And the power will be less by 1. So it will be 4x cubed. As simple as that. That is how you derive when it comes to the power. This is power rule. Next, the power will come forward. So 3 times 2. So y prime means the derivative. 3 times 2, that will be 6. And then x, the power will be less by 1. That will be 2. So 6x squared. For this one over here, it's pretty much the same thing. But as you can see here, the variable is on the denominator. It's not... We are not going to differentiate it when the, uh, when the denominator contains a variable. We have to bring it on top. So when you bring this power on top, it will just change its sign from being positive 3, it will become negative 3. This is a rule in exponents. So if you bring it on top, it will now be x to the power of negative 3. So if I, we want to find the derivative, and then we bring negative 3 to the front side, so it will be negative 3 x and then less by 1, so negative 4. This is the derivative. But if the question says there are uh, negative powers are not allowed, all you have to do is to bring the x containing a negative power down below or put it back down. And that is how you derive when the variable is on the denominator. I will give you one more example for this. Let me just erase this. So example, for example, we have y is equals to 1 half x to the power of 5. Again, we have to bring this on top, but make sure guys that you will only bring the variable and its power. Don't include the 2. So that 2 will stay here or as a half, and then x will now go up as x to the power of negative 5. And the next... We can multiply negative 5 to the front side. So that will be negative 5 over 2. And then x to the power of, we will less by 1, which is negative 6. Again, this is an acceptable answer. But in some questions, they want the powers to be positive. So all you have to do is to bring it back down. So it will be written as negative 5 over 2. And then same number over here. But this one over here will just go down beside the x, I mean beside the 2, sorry, x to the power of 6. And that is how you differentiate it. For example, they give you something like this, square root of x. When you say square root of x, it could be written as y is equivalent to x to the power of half. Now, how did I get the half? The x here has a power of 1, and square root means there's an imaginary 2 in there. So it means 1 over 2. So if they... For example, they say cube root, then we will write x to the power of one third. As simple as that. Next, we are going to differentiate it now. So again, we bring the one half to the front side. So one half, this power goes on the front side. x to the power of minus one. So one half minus one is negative half. This could be an answer, but we can still simplify it where there is no power of negative so we can bring this down beside the, the, the denominator beside the number on the denominator so 1 over 
2x to the power of half. Again, we can still simplify it into 1 over 2 root x. We can just put it back as a radical. And that is the derivative. So this is, a, this is an acceptable answer. This one is also okay, and this one is also okay. It depends on the teacher what, what format do they want. Next here. So if we have two variables now, we can differentiate them individually only if the, the sign in between them is plus or minus. If it's multiplication, we have a different rule for that. But for now, if the, if the one in the middle is plus or minus, we can just differentiate them individually. So here, 3 comes forward over here. So that is 3x. 3 will be less by 1, so 2. Plus, I'm going to differentiate now. First, I will bring it on top, x to the power of negative 1, because this one is an imaginary 1. And then differentiating this, it will just be negative 1 to the front side, x to the power of negative 2, because my negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2. So I can write my answer down here, which is 3x squared. Just copy it down, because I already derived it. This one over here, minus 1, and I would like to write this on the bottom just to make it a positive power. And that is how you derive it. Okay, lastly here. So we have 4 pi x cubed. Pi is a number. It is 3.14, blah, 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 blah. It's a very long number. So this is just considered as one number. It's not a variable that you have to differentiate. So if we are going to differentiate it, so 3 will come forward. So 3 times 4 pi is 12 pi. And then x to the power of 3 minus 1 is 2. And that is how you differentiate using a power rule.